What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today I don't have a tea for you because I'm waiting for more in the mail because I drank it all through winter. But I do have a phenomenal pen and that is the Montagrappa by Montagrappa. <laughs> It's a very fitting name, I think. Um, this is a new pen. It's one I have never used before, and it's one, to be honest, I didn't even know existed. This one was not on my radar at all. Uh, it is a built-in piston pen, too. So there's no, like, cartridge converter. There's no nothing. It's built into the pen uh, and is activated, obviously, by the piston knob. Um, so... This beauty right here is uh, kind of Montegrappa's more of an entry level pen. Um, so it's $400 uh, American, uh, so US dollars. Um, I have never seen it in retail sections, but I know you can get it on Montegrappa's site. This pen was awesomely lent to me um, or provided to me um, by Brian. Uh, he works for Montegrappa and Aurora. Um, most of you will probably know him from um, Instagram as NY Pen Guy. Um, and he does travel uh, a lot to different pen shows. So you've probably met him there as well if you've been lucky enough to get to go to one. Um, I got to meet him at uh, the Toronto Pen Show Scriptus uh, that was past October. Uh, really awesome, really great guy, and uh, thank you for letting me use this pen um, because oh, I freaking love it. Um, Montagrap has actually just changed their whole nib and feed outfit, um, and it is stunning. Uh, it, it's stunning. It's a new nib, new feed. It works super, super well together. It's very smooth. The design on the nib is amazing. This is a steel nib. It is stiff, so you are you do know that it's a steel nib. But that said, it is so smooth and it's very wet, so I quite like it. Um, yeah, I just I I. Mm. I'm having trouble expressing how much I actually like this pen. It's got a good weight to it too, so. I'm gonna show you close-ups and because this camera doesn't really show, but it has the 1912 logo on the top. It has the steel clip with a little roller ball at the bottom and it pops up very nicely. Um, it's the perfect balance between stiff enough where it's not gonna fall off anything, but not so stiff that you're like struggling to get it over like a pocket, um, you know, or like a, if you have a journal, you wanna pop it in there. It's just the perfect balance. Um, towards the end of the cap, you have a little metal design here. And then on the body itself, you have the words Montegrappa written um, on it. It's uh, inscribed um, with the mountain in between the word Monte and Grappa. And I quite enjoy that. Coming down, you have a little divider here for the piston and you have the piston knob. I'm not gonna move it because this pen is full. Um, it's a, like I said, it's a built-in piston, but what's super cool is that it comes to a dead stop, so you can't over twist it, and it actually clicks when you twist. Um, so you definitely know that you're filling it, um, and you definitely know when you come to a stop, because it won't let you overturn it, which is super awesome, because then you're not gonna break it. Um, and then at the very bottom, you can kind of see Hey, there you are. <laughs> you can see that uh, metal. Um, I do apologize, by the way, if you hear any clicking in the background. Uh, the, today is day two of an ice storm that we're having right now. And yes, ice storm, it is April 14th. What day is it? Uh, yeah, April 14th. And it's still an ice storm. And we're expecting more tomorrow. Hashtag Canada. <laughs> so this is a screw top. You pull that off. You do have metal threads with a relatively noticeable step, um, but the grip section for me is large enough. Um, and when I do have my thumb here, um, I feel it, but it doesn't bother me. So if you do hold your pen really far back, it might not be the greatest um, because you do feel it. Um, but if you hold your grip where like the actual grip section is, um, then I think you will be okay because like I said, I do have my thumb back here quite often and I don't notice a difference. Um, 
there is a slight step up towards the nib and the feed, and then of course the nib and the feed themselves. The body does have a little bit of a um, like fat fattening effect in the middle. So it is a cigar shape, but it gets a little bit fatter in the middle, um, which fits actually really nicely into my hand. Um, it's got really good weight. It's probably close to the weight of like, what's a, like a Jinhao 159 kind of thing, like that kind of a weight, which I actually have with me. So there's this pen and then there's the Jinhao 159. So it's relatively close. Um, with the cap on it, the Jinhao weighs more, but it fits quite nicely in my hand. You can post. It doesn't post super, super deep, um, but, and it's not like super, like it won't, like if you flick your pen, it, the, the cap will come off. But for the average writing session, it'll be just fine. Um, it back weights it for me, because the cap itself like rests just on my um like the crook of my hand here so it does back weight it a little bit um, and this pen is plenty large enough where i don't need to post um, but you can if you want to uh, it just adds more weight to the back end this pen is also solidly built i have no concerns whatsoever that this would ever break um, which to me is paramount with pens um, especially now that you know I'm getting further into my pen hobby I'm starting to travel with them um, I don't want them to break and I don't have any fear that this will um, so in my opinion it's another winner it's another solidly built pen from Montegrappa I absolutely love it I would recommend it but what I love even more than the feel of this pen is how this pen writes so let's jump into that Wow, let me check out that ink. Check it out. This is Tomoe River Paper and this ink is gorgeous. I'm using uh, Organic Studio uh, Nitrogen Royal Blue. Um, I got this sample obviously from Venice. Not sponsored, just where I got it from. Um, I love this ink and I really like this pen. This nib is so smooth. Apparently, if I look though through the camera and touch the nib to the paper, um, I rotate it too much. Because if it's rotated, it won't work. But, um, so that's what happened there anyways. But this honestly is so smooth. There's a little bit of feedback, just enough to know that like you're kind of gliding the pen across the paper. Um, but I really, really like it. It's performs very well. I've never had any hard starts or skips or anything like that. Um, like I said, except for when I rotate the nib. Um, and this ink is super sheeny. So if any ink is going to have a problem, <laughs> it might be this one because this ink is a little bit on the thicker side. But this pen actually keeps up very nicely. As you can see, a lot of ink gets put down. I mean, look at my finger. <laughs> a lot of ink gets put down and I love it. So it's nice and wet. This is a medium steel nib uh, and it's phenomenal. Doesn't really flex. I mean, if anything, it just puts down a touch more ink, which makes it look like it has flexed a little, but it, it hasn't. It's you're not really gonna get any line variation out of this. Uh, it also does not reverse right at, at all. Uh, and it does feel a little bit scratchy, but obviously it doesn't work, so you don't need to anyways. Um, but I love this pen. This writes so well. Okay, I gotta stop looking through the camera and just look at the paper. <laughs> um, but it does, it writes super, super well. Um, it keeps up for fast writing and with no issue. And this is Tomoe River paper. Uh, I think I said that already. So would I recommend this pen? Yes, absolutely. Um, it is a little bit on the pricey side, but uh, like with any 
well-known brand, you are also paying a little bit for the name. So do I recommend it? Yes. Will I keep this in my collection for a very long time? Yes. Is this one of my daily writers? For at least a little bit, it will be. Um, I quite like it. I even like the inscription here. It writes very well. Um, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. If you really like the video but haven't yet done so already, please do hit that subscribe button. Don't be afraid of that comment section down below. And guys, as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.